Okay, so I'm making liquid culture today. Um, supplies you will need to make liquid culture include a big pot or a pot that's the size that you need um, for the volume that you'll be doing. Um, a pot, a, um, a flask to measure volume, and then probably a smaller thing to measure volume. I'm using a 60 ml syringe to measure volume here. Um, and that is for the agave, so you will also need agave. And then jars. The volume of agave that you'll need per uh, your, for your water is 4%. So whatever volume of water you're doing, just multiply it by 0 0.04 and then that's the amount. So for every 100 ml of water, it's 4 ml of, of uh, nutrient. Okay, so my water here is boiling. Um, now my jars don't have any special modifications. Like this one was used for, I don't know, I put a syringe um, port in there. But a lot of these jars don't have syringe ports at all. They just have a hole drilled with a filter patch over it. I don't have any syringe filters. I don't have any high-tech shit, nothing confusing. Um, it's all very straightforward and very simple. Okay, so I've got, I'll say about, yeah, 2,700, maybe 3,000 ml um, worth of water in here. So that means, I'm gonna take that off. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in from the agave. I'm not gonna squirt it through the syringe, there's no need to. I'll just leave that on. So it's 80 ml of this, of the agave, for 2,000 ml of, of the water. So I'm gonna do 80. And I'm going to do, let's see, we'll say 2,700, so what? Seven times four, 28. So 28 more, so 30, we'll do 30 more of these. Okay, now I'm just going to stir that in with the whisk and then I'm going to pour that into the jars somehow. You want to fill your jars about three quarters of the way full, not not too much. Because if you overfill your jars, they'll explode inside your autoclave or pressure cooker. When handling your jars, be extremely careful because they are hot. They are filled with boiling water. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the lids on my jars now. Now that I have all my jars ready, I will take them and I will load them into the autoclave. Okay, so I'm loading my jars now. And like a pressure valve goes up, stays up for the first 45 minutes while it gets to, to temperature. Once it gets to temperature, close it, and then it stays closed. I don't ever release the pressure. There's no reason to. Um, I let my my things cool completely before I remove them from the autoclave because impatience is how injuries happen. Um, and so I, I don't know. I'm not in a hurry, so I never open it again. So I leave it out the way that it is. But for now, we open it and. That's it, that's how I do my culture, and I'll check back when we are done. Okay, so that sound you hear is my flow hood, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove everything from the autoclave, and I'm going to put it on my work table. I'm not giving you anything. Okay, so 
this, you won't wear a mask. From this point forward, I'm just doing labels. So I have each bag set up next to the plate where the specimen came from. And then I'm just labeling all the bags. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. I know it's a long one. Um, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and share if you want. Um, also, if you have any questions or if you would like to see anything specific, please let me know in the comments. I'm totally happy to make more videos that people want to see. Um, Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.